Hey fur friends, welcome to our channel, your cat and dog destination. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to safely scale your dog's teeth at home. So if you're interested in learning how to do that, keep watching. I did wanna start off by saying that I am not a vet or a professional in terms of dog hygiene. This is just what I've learned and my experience with my dogs and work previously working at a pet store in terms of keeping your dog's oral health at the best that it can be. So if you are uncomfortable in any way doing scaling at home or you do not personally believe in scaling, that is totally fine and I totally respect your opinion. I am just wanting to show what I've learned and how I do this at home and how it really helps to keep my dog's dental hygiene um, at the highest and best that it can be. That if you are going to scale your dog's teeth at home, it is very important that you ensure that you feel comfortable doing it at home because certain dogs, I can say with certainty, should not have their teeth scaled at home because they will move around or get you know very upset they could bite you. So you wanna make sure that you feel 100% comfortable doing it to your dog because there is some risk in doing this such as you know you could cut their gum if they move too quickly then it could cause them to bleed you could also like cut you know their tongue the roof of their mouth but it is just very important that you're very careful when you're doing this so now i want to go through the scaling tools that i use when i'm scaling my dog's uh teeth at home so you can get them online they're quite inexpensive you can also get them at a pet store they're like ten dollars I'll try and link some below if I can find um, any similar to what I have. I really like what I have because it actually comes in a set of three. I got it so long ago, I don't even remember where I got it from. But the nice thing about this set, and I don't think you're gonna be able to see it just because it's not gonna focus. But, um, so the set of three, um, they might all look the same, but they really aren't. So like this one curves to the right. Um, I have another one that curves to the left and then another one that is just straight across, which makes it very easy and gives me a little variety when I'm actually scaling the teeth because um, if I need to get really close to the gum, then using an angled one can be a bit easier because I can just kind of go on an angle and pull down. Or, you know, if I'm trying to do um, a any teeth closer to the front or if it, the plaque is right at the very top then doing a flat one can be easier so it gives you a little bit of versatility in what's going to be the easiest to use now i will say though that the edges are pretty sharp so you do want to make sure that when you're doing it you're not getting too close to the gum it depends how bad the plaque is if the plaque is really thick then you you do have to get quite close to the gum and do it you could also even just like look at it on your own teeth and you know see the angles that you should do it um, before you actually go into your dog's mouth because with your dog's mouth you don't have as much time to play around you really got to get in there do your best that you can and then maybe you want to split it up over a couple nights um, just so that your dog is not getting too frustrated with you and I mainly focus on like the canines and the back teeth are the ones that will get the most plaque buildup so I'm going to insert the clip now of the demo that I did with my dog Fred on scaling his teeth Okay, so as I said, these are the three that I'm gonna be using, and I do recommend when you're gonna scale your dog's teeth to try doing it at night when they're more relaxed and chill. So Fred's just chilling here on the couch, and we're going to start. I'm probably gonna start with the straight one just because it's the beginning, and his, as you can, I'll first show you what they look like in there. So all the plaque is really gonna be on the back teeth. Might be hard to see, but here we go, okay. And Fred likes to lick it a lot when I do this. Okay, so I'll start with just this tooth. Oh, Fred, good boy. So you just wanna go to the top and kind of pull down. Good boy. So you can see, good boy. Oh, good boy. Okay, good boy. Okay, stop licking. Okay, that's showing you the 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 canine teeth. Now I'm going to go to the back teeth where there, you'll see a lot more plaque and you, you get quite gross. And I'll start at the top. You see where the black is? And I'll just kind of go above it and then pull down. Ready and good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. And by the way, this does take quite a long time and can be quite tedious, especially like Fred's quite patient with it. But if you have a dog that doesn't let you do this, then it's definitely not going to work. So again, I'm just going to open up his mouth 
I'm gonna get in there and you do kind of have to, cause it's a lot of plaque buildup, right? So it's gonna be really stuck on there. So you really gotta pull down when you're doing it. So this is gonna take me quite a few and you might have to do it over a number of days as well. So I'm gonna go back in with the flat one now. Good boy, good boy. And I'm just gonna, so pull down pull down. See, you can see I got that chunk. Do you see it on there? And Fred wants to eat it. Yuck. So we will just keep doing this in little stages. So when you, like you can see that I just took a chunk off there and we will keep going at it. So again, just do little bits at a time. Go slow. Don't go too close to the gum. You obviously do have to get close, but try your very best to not actually cut the gum. I did want to also mention that you will have to use a little bit of force when you are removing the plaque from the teeth because obviously it is stuck on there pretty well so you're going to have to pull down pretty hard. You'll notice in some clips that I have to do that. And also if the gums do bleed a little bit, do not worry. Everything is fine. It's very normal for the gums to get irritated and bleed a little bit and as long as they're not cut, they will be totally fine and there's no cause for concern. Okay, another thing that you can do too when you are scaling your dog's teeth is it gives you a chance to kind of look in their mouth and get familiar with what normal to them looks like. So like you can check if there's anything, you know, that looks out of whack. Like for example, Fred, because he's moving his tongue so much, I, I saw a while ago that he has like a wart on his tongue. So then I was able to take him to the vet and I wonder if he'll let me show. Let, let me see your... <laughs> I don't think he's gonna let me but he had like a ward on the back of his tongue and I was able to take him to the vet and get it checked out to make sure it wasn't anything that was you know detrimental to his health so it's always good to just check inside their mouth when you're scaling their teeth Okay, so I hope that demo was helpful for you guys and you know, kind of gave you a bit more visual on what to do when trying to scale your dog's teeth at home. Like I said, it can be a bit challenging, but it's a very effective method to keep your dog's teeth clean and the plaque very minimal. And this is not something that you have to do like on a weekly basis. You could definitely spread this out. Like I do this for Fred every like, five to six months. Like I'll just sometimes look in his mouth and be like, oh, okay, I need to, um, you know, scale your teeth. But there are a couple other things that you can do on top of the scaling to ensure that um, the plaque is staying at a minimum, such as giving your dog bones is a great way to reduce the plaque. So you could give them frozen bone marrows, or any frozen bones are great. Um, even Nyla bones are also great. My dogs love Nyla bones and that really helps to keep Fred's plaque at a minimum. And those would be the two things that I would recommend because the constant chewing helps to just prevent the plaque from the food building up. And then also too, you know, if you wanna um, brush your dog's teeth, maybe with a toothbrush and some all natural toothpaste, I can also do a video doing a demo on how to brush your dog's teeth as well and give you some tips and pointers. If you're interested in that, just leave a comment below and I can make that for you as well. So I hope today's video was informative for you guys and you know you feel a little bit more comfortable trying to scale your dog's teeth at home. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.